Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Tuesday. So I'm going to bring in three decks of cards for you today. We're going to bring in the Divine Masculine Energy Oracle by the Witchy Woo Tarot, the Witch's Tarot and the Divine Masculine Message Tarot. And these are decks that are designed specifically for you. So, you know, if you're after a tarot deck to connect with yourself, this is a really great deck because it's a tarot deck, so it gives you tarot readings, but it also gives you messages about where you are and what you're going through, especially right now in the silence, because <clears throat> the block in my throat chakra when I'm connecting with you. So I feel you may need to be silent right now to work out what you're doing. You know, they're giving me this block because, and I know it's going to get very challenging throughout this year to connect with your energy, but I'm willing to do that because... This is your time, the time you're waking up spiritually, the time you're moving towards union. You know, you are getting ready for your true mission on this earthly plane. And that can be scary. And I know that you will need time to think and process and go within. And that can come up as a block. And I know how hard it is for you to express this to your feminine or to people in your life <clears throat> because you hold it inside. That may be what you've always done what's felt natural to you and expressing your feelings may seem you know a bit scary sometimes and you may feel a bit vulnerable about opening up and I know you want to open up as well I feel it all inside and sometimes you get head pressure from that you get headaches you know you feel like you're not good enough or you're a failure and the angels want you to know that you are exactly as you are and that means you are beautiful and you are loved for who you are don't try and be anything that you're not yet ready to be. Just breathe through it all. Be yourself and know that you are loved. And this love is worth it. You are worthy of it and you are safe. And, you know, I feel you may be dealing with finances today, work. Maybe you're back at work. Maybe you're out of work and you're trying to find a job or you're trying to sort out finances. So it feels like work and being focused on creating that stability for your future is really on your mind so let's do some cards and see what you need to know so what do we need to know please angels today for the divine masculine what do we need to know please today for the divine masculine what are we going through what are you going through divine masculine and it's so nice to be able to connect with you directly it really is what's going on with the masculine please angels today what do we need to know for the masculine what do we need to know? Clear card, please, for the masculine. Clear card. And, you know, it does take some time, sometimes when I'm doing your cards, because, you know, your journey does take time. You take time processing, working things out. So the way the cards are behaving is really a reflection of what's going on within as well. Okay, these cards, come on, I'm going to take them as clarifiers, but I feel these are the main two. So first of all, we've got the devil, and it says... I'm learning to overcome my fears and insecurities that hold me back and cause me pain. So the angels are well aware and your feminine is also well aware that you are overcoming fear and insecurity, things that block the connection or hold you back from it. And I am completing an important cycle. So this is where you are right now. You know, you're completing an important cycle in your life because you're overcoming fear and you're overcoming insecurities. You know you want a fresh start. You know you want a new beginning. You're at this turning point in your life. You know, it's like you're at the crossroads. Which path do you take now? And you know you want to take the high road, the higher road, the road to your higher path. You know that you want to go in the right direction, not the wrong direction. So you're overcoming your fears. You're saying to your ego, I'm not going to let you control me like you did. And we all have an ego. We're all human even though we're spiritual beings having the human experience. So the ego is never going to leave, but we do learn how to handle it much better, how to rise above and overcome it. And I feel this is where you are. You are completing an important cycle in your life where you're releasing all the things that may have held you back. Yeah, we've got the wheel of the year. So this is really powerful to get you know the wheel of fortune because things are turning in your favour. And you have help, you know, you have help from heaven, divine intervention. You have help from your loved ones and guides in the other realms. You have the love and support of your divine feminine. And things are changing. Seasons are changing. 
And I feel, you know, you're ready for the seasons ahead. You're ready to face whatever comes. And this is a turning point. And you're being reminded that you are in a season. You're moving towards the Easter period, which is about rebirth, spring, new beginning. So it's okay to take your time. It's okay. You know, we've got the energy change coming in soon. It's exciting. From the water tiger into the water rabbit. So it's both water energy, which is about emotion and feelings and you know, recognizing who you are and where you are and what you want in your life and following your heart. But the water tiger is the energy of believe in yourself, have confidence. And I feel that's where you are right now. You know, you're gaining the strength and the confidence to be able to make these required changes. And that's why you are completing an important cycle in your life. So you can't rush this as much as you want to. As much as you want to be there for your feminine and show your feminine you love her or him, you have to go through this cycle. It's like you're in the chrysalis and you want to come out, but you know you're not quite ready yet. You know, it's like you've got that cake in the oven and you want to take it out and eat it, but you know it's not quite ready yet. So you know you'll do more damage if you take it out before it's cooked or if you move out of that chrysalis before you're ready and things are changing. And the water rabbit is bringing in the leaps, the opportunities, the success, everything you want. So you're going to feel a lot more powerful about moving forward and making changes as we move towards the end of the month. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So you are preparing for this battle ahead or to move towards eventual positive outcome. The Knight of Pentacles is such a powerful card because success is ahead for you. And you are moving towards the light and you may still be shielding your heart and not showing yourself fully yet because you're still wearing that armor and that mask. But you know you're on the right path, especially because we've got a stag there. And you also know that you're moving out of the stag energy because you've become the eagle. So you think you're kind of saying but goodbye to that part of yourself. And that's what I'm feeling. Goodbye to the old you, because you are now the new you, is this eagle energy. It's very powerful. We've also got this, yeah, the shadow side. So this is that devil energy when you get a headache, when you feel pressured, you know, when you feel that your feminine is there, but you can't quite get there. And you're like, oh, I just can't cope with all of this. I need a break. Your head feels like it's going to explode. And, you know, me actually explaining your energy and channeling it, it's going to help your divine feminine energy to understand what you go through. But it also helps me to really feel your emotions. And I've always been able to empathize with you because of your journey and how hard it is. You know, and it feels easy to the divine feminine because it's your journey. You know, in other words, our journey, our personal journey is hard to ourselves because it's our journey. Other people may look at it and think, oh, they've got it easy, but they haven't, you know, because it's their journey. So your journey is a hard journey. You may think that your, your feminine has it easy because she's living in the light or being a true self, but she hasn't got it easy at all because she's missing you and wanting you and loving you and wanting to help you. But you know you have to do it by yourself. But you're never by yourself because you're connected with your angels. But you know you have to be the one to move forward for your own higher good. And that's why at times you can come across distant or silent as the king of swords. You know, a little bit reserved or feeling like you're sitting on the fence or you're between two worlds or you're not sure what you're doing. But this is a planet. The king of swords is a planet. Someone who's processing, working it all out. And, you know, I don't like being back and forth. I need to make a decision. So you know that you're completing a cycle because you've had enough of being back and forth. Maybe you're in a relationship. You're back and forth in that relationship because you've got kids or responsibilities or financial obligations or you just feel guilty. It's time to release all of that guilt. If you truly wanted to be with your karmic partner, you wouldn't care about your family. Okay, you know you love your feminine, it's unlike anything else. So it's time to make a decision. It's time to stop that back and forth behavior. And the angels understand that you may need time to get your head together, to get your energy right, to get the words right, to get your strength there, you know, the courage to be able to actually make these decisions and do what you've come here to do. But you have the power to do that. 
But the most powerful energy in this, this whole reading is this because you know you're going to get where you're going. And this is a great sign for any divine feminines watching here that there's going to be eventual positive outcome. But this is the divine masculine saying goodbye to the former self. It's like you've left the stag in 2022. And, you know, we're still associated with the stag because it's a sign of union. But where you are concerned on your journey, you're releasing that side of yourself. That's the side of yourself that's dealt with all the shadows and all the pain and all the struggle. And you're now on your path. You're looking there. So you're looking back. So you may still have things you have to heal connected with the past and, you know, everything about the past and about you. But you know you're on the road facing in the right direction because the horse is going in the right direction. And you know you are ready for whatever comes, whatever battle you have to go through to be with your feminine and to be the leader you've come here to be and to do everything you've come here to be. You know you're ready for that too. And that's where you are. So it's like, goodbye, stag, hello, eagle. I'm on my way. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.